Hi, my name is Michael Novello from visualpix.com. Welcome to 5 Minutes Photoshop. Here I present you fast and effective Photoshop effects and techniques in 5 minutes or less. Okay, this time we are dealing with the bokeh effect, or bouquet, or bokeh, or whatever. I'm going with bouquet because of an arrangement of flowers, because a uh, bouquet effect is distributed like an arrangement of flowers. So this comes. I think it's the nearest description for that effect. Okay, we're going to add a new layer here. And with the brush, a hard brush selected, I'm going to modify the settings a little bit. This, this brush settings, I'm going to brush tip shape, and I'm going with a spacing of 100, uh, 130, 150, something like that. Then in the shape dynamics, I'm going to crank up the jitter si size jitter a little bit and in the scattering I'm going to both axes and the size uh, the scattering a little bit up to something like 280 or so and in the transfer I'm going to set the opacity jitter to something like 50% um, and if you use the opacity jitter you have to be aware that you have this little guy here not selected is the pen pressure because if you use a mouse the the pressure is 100% uh, and it goes to zero the, the opacity jitter and we click again in here and we create a new brush we call it bokeh bokeh whatever something like that then I'm going to paint in the image here a little bit on the light parts, not on the dark parts, because the bouquet effect is only happening where it's light, not where it's, where it's dark. Maybe it's going to overlap a little bit, but uh, it's not happening in the dark parts. So that's okay. And I'm going to convert this to a small object, filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and we go with something like 1.5 to 1.8, something like that. Then we set the layer to overlay. And then we create a new layer here. And we go a little bit with a bigger brush here. Again, into it. And we click again two or three times here. Now let's don't overlap them too much here. Something like that, that's okay. Then convert this again to a smart object here. We're going to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And this time we're going a little bit higher with the blur. And I said okay. And then we go to overlay. And I'm loading the opacity a little bit here. And on this here as well, a little, just a little bit. Something like that. Then with my original image selected. I'm going to convert this into a smart object here. I'm going to filter and I blur this with the Gaussian blur. Something like that. So that the background here is not in focus. And I set this to something like 3.5. That's okay. And then in the smart filter mask, I'm going to mask parts out of this. Again, the model here because the model is in focus and the foreground is in focus. And something like that. Maybe we can, uh, we have to s set a uh, soft brush here. Moment, soft brush. And let's go over that again just have the model in focus and the background isn't in focus something like that so okay and that's my version of a bouquet effect thank you for watching my videos um, if you like my videos you can subscribe to my channel right here in the middle and my last two videos you can find here and here 
And if you really like my videos, you can support me on patreon.com. Here's the link. And thanks again. And see you next time. Bye.